Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting out in front of my beautiful new chicken coop and watching the Easter eggers. And remember in yesterday's video when I saw those passion fruit vine growing just all over the place down there? Well, I'm going to try and see if I can bring them closer to home today because, well, it's a very mild day. It's still cool. It's very cool outside and that's the best time to transplant them. Um, they've just sprouted up so they're not you know they are actively growing actually but I'm gonna see if I can get a few of them down there if if they don't survive that's okay there's more down there there is more down there but I want to grow the passion fruit vine not necessarily for the fruit but for the flowers and the leaves yep I'm gonna make some more tinctures so I'm gonna take you along well today I'm not gonna make tinctures today I'm just gonna see if I can get them transplanted and not kill them I decided to get the holes dug first. Hopefully that's deep enough. Yep, it's all clay soil in there, but I'm gonna take as much of the soil from around this plant as possible. I think I'm gonna clear this area, a little ring around it, so I can make sure I'm not cutting into the plant like that. Yep, and that is not a bent plant. That's just how it grew. So now it's time to dig a hole. Oh, listen to that. That's like gardening ASMR. Listen, oh, isn't the sound of that rewarding? Okay, so I'm just gonna let you listen to this and watch me dig a hole. I was trying to dig in as straight as possible. I didn't want to sever the taproot, so I went around in a circle a few times. And now I'm gonna try and lift it out. Came out of the hole pretty easy. Where's that taproot? Where's that taproot? There it is. Hopefully I got enough of it. I pray I do. So now it's time to get it in the ground. Mm. I don't think this hole is big enough, so I'm gonna go ahead and dig it a little bit wider and just a little bit deeper so it'll fit better. And like I said, I took a lot of the native soil along with it. Let's see if it fits this time. Oops, don't know, need those in there. Yeah, I think that's, that's gonna work. Yeah, I think that's that's a good enough fit. Just kind of press it down a little bit. And then I got some garden soil. Still has quite a bit of fertilizer left in it and just kind of filled in the holes, put it down in the cracks. So it would not have a nice growing base, hopefully, if I did this right. I guess time will tell, right? Oh, please, please, please let these plants survive. I really want them to grow. I would love to have this whole fence covered in passion fruit vines. I'm just going to try and prop it up a little bit. And of course, water it, I'm giving it a gallon, basically a gallon of water. And I'll water it every day, unless it rains. Please, little passion fruit vine, please, please, please grow. And there's two more holes dug. Ready to receive two more. Oh, look at this one. While I was working on one of the other vines, I stepped on it and yep, I did bent it, it's broken. So I'm gonna leave this one go. I dug up two others and the vines look pretty healthy. 
pretty nice taproot there. I did break the taproot, so who knows what's going to happen with these plants. There we go. I've got them all planted in the ground, kind of trained up against the fence a little bit. I will go and get that grass taken care of surrounding it. See how wilty it is? Totally wilty. This one not so bad. It's got another shoot there at the bottom, so hopefully that will kind of bounce back. I'm really hoping that it will. What to do with all this extra soil? Well, I dug three holes, so, yep. I'm gonna go ahead and fill those holes back in. And I did grab a few of the we uh, weeds with roots in them. And I'm just gonna throw those on top too. I mean weeds and grass, whatever. I mean, it may be weeds to you, but it's food to me and chicken food. And plus, I didn't want these holes to remain here because when Mr. Lucas comes over with his lawn mower, I didn't want him to be, you know, struggling going over ruts and whatnot with his lawn mower. And here's the last big one. I didn't have enough soil left, so I just filled the bottom with a bunch of plant matter. And just filled the hole up. Covered it with a few more weeds, grass, compost, whatever. And I think that about does it. Real quick, I'm just going to mention the traditional uses of passion fruit vine. It's been used for anxiety, insomnia, hypertension, and... Uh, other such things, but we'll get more into that when I actually make a tincture or use the leaves in a tea or something to that effect. So that'll be safe for another video, but it's been tested, tried and true, I guess, uh, from what they say. And there are absolutely medicinal properties to this plant, and most of it has nothing to do with the fruit that it bears, so I'm more interested in the leaves, and maybe at some point, the roots as well. How are they doing the next day, the day after? Well, they're doing okay. I did kind of put up some little shades to shade them from the sun, because it was really hot that day, but this one right here, it looks like it's bouncing back now. They had totally wilted basically down to the ground, but this one is trying to kind of, you know, its little tendrils are wrapping around and the leaves look like they're bouncing back. I need to get this grass taken care of. This one is suffering the most. It does look better than it did, but it's still pretty wilty. Um, these leaves up here, I don't know how it's gonna be able to recover morning Romeo so I may end up clipping the leaves if it looks like they're not gonna bounce back by the end of today we'll just have to wait and see this one looks like it's gonna do just fine I must have gotten most of the taproot see these little leaves down here they are coming up from another shoot and it's already kind of trying to wrap around this fence and this is inside here so the chickens can't get to it. Yeah, this is unruly. I need to get my little real mower and mow this back here. But I know that this one's gonna survive. This one might. I think this one's gonna be okay. We'll just see what it looks like at the end of today and just pray. You guys, just pray for these passion fruit vines because I really, really want them to grow. I want them just to spread all over this fence here. So say a prayer that it works out, you guys. What's for dinner tonight? Well, I made chicken burgers again, but I made them a little bit differently than before. Last time I used cornmeal, this time I used rolled oats and a beaten up egg. I seasoned it with salt, pepper, garlic, cumin, turmeric, um, chili powder, chopped up a jalapeno pepper and put it down in there. Uh, let's see, what else did I put in it? Well, the packet's chicken, yep, I didn't drain the fluid out at all. And, oh, I used some dried red and green bell peppers. I just put it in a bowl, mixed it all up until everything kind of absorbed so I could form patties, put it down in a pan, and browned it really well on both sides. And then I made a rice dish out of, well, wild greens and wild lettuce, wild plantain, uh, sauteed in ghee, added salt, pepper, garlic, 
and let it cook with the rice and it absolutely turned out delicious. Oh my goodness, it was so good. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.